current legal name would be Elizabeth Breck Hickman Pine. Given name was Breck Allen Hickman. I finally got like my name like legally changed um, this summer when I got married because like always wanted to drop like the um, Allen part. Well, Allen is my old middle name um, and that was my dad's middle name. I decided it wasn't like a great fit for me with like transitioning and stuff since that's generally more of like a masculine or like guy name. Having the name like Breck Allen Hickman on like forms for like jobs or like that being like a legal thing um, often would lead to like some confusion because like Breck's a very gender neutral name so it's like we have no idea where to go off of this but then they latch on to that second one and it's like oh, this person is this way, and there's, like, all those preconceived notions that are built up that, like, um, I don't want placed on myself. Kept the Breck, because I like it. it. I've never met anyone else with that name. I'm actually named after a school. <laughs> there's a art-focused high school in Minnesota. I don't know where it is. I think it's close to Minneapolis, but it's called Breck. And, um, what are the odds? Yeah, <laughs> right? Yeah, it's like the most arbitrary thing ever. They were just like trying to come up with names and watching like local broadcast, local broadcast television. And it was like the state tennis tournament was on and it was Breck versus some other school. And they're just like, Oh, Breck's a cool name. Let's <laughs> let's use that. I'd like to think that like the name like spoke to them for some reason. That's like uh, an art school here in the cities, and like I somehow wound up being an artist who like wants to yeah. teach, and that's kind of like a goal of mine. So <laughs> yeah, I was going by Breck for a long time, and like I still am. Like that's the the new middle name. I don't know. I like wanted like a more feminine sounding name or like more stereotypical like uh woman name so like i would have that like buffer just like the ease of like moving through the world in that regard i love how it sounds like really proper like mm -hmm. whenever um i always think of like a queen or something because yes. especially it's not like liz beth or mm -hmm. variations the whole the yeah the the whole nine yards sounds like very formal and like the potential for nicknames is like really fun have you ever watched magic school bus when you were a kid it's like this great like educational tv series that like whole premise is a magic school bus but the teacher has like a chameleon named liz so i thought that was like that's like a fun um, benefit of that nickname is like oh cool like a lizard Introducing myself as Breck, um, usually there's some initial confusion of, like, that name, um, just because, like, people don't hear it that often, and in conversation it sounds a lot like Brock or Brett, which, like, r the amount of times people have, like, been like, oh, I misheard the C or the K Did at the end of the... In conversation, like, I never, like, I resorted to spelling it out, like, a few times, like, no, like, B-R-E-C-K, like, it's, it's a one-syllable name, it shouldn't be that, <laughs> that tough, <laughs> like, it's, it's just, it's a simple noise. A, lo a lot of, like, people would default to, like, Brett or Brock, which, like, again, are, like, normally guy names, um, which is like very frustrating for me. Elizabeth will have me read in like the way I want to be read. Like it's so nice for like Starbucks. Or... Yeah, it's a different feeling. Like I'm still still getting used to Elizabeth, honestly. I was going by Breck for a while there and then like uh, switched over to Elizabeth because that's about the time that I was like, okay, I'm getting like pretty tired of like being like constantly misgendered and stuff. Um, and I feel like just, like, having that name would help. Um, and, like, it was, like, instantaneous, like, no confusion from, like, any cu customers or anything. Just, like, 
the simple like switch of the name tag from like Breck to Liz was like it went from like I have no idea how to refer to this person who like I don't know how to read to like oh yeah cool I feel like I understand who you are and don't have to worry about like people using the wrong pronouns or anything so my family still uses Breck my wife Megan still uses Breck my siblings still use Breck um, depending on like friend groups again it's can go either way um, like the friends that I play D and D with, like they are, they usually switch back and forth between Elizabeth and Breck. Um, but the work with kids, it's always work with kids. It's always Liz or Elizabeth. Yeah, I guess for art stuff, I still use Breck. Um, it's always Breck Hickman. Um, still use that with art, and then with like teaching for first and last, I use Elizabeth Pine to keep those like separate. very separate I guess first nickname ever was boomer which is really <laughs> funny because that's like the older generation of people who are like messing this country up <laughs> <laughs> like boomer cat like that's super cute Breck the okay yeah the the Instagram name is a, a joke and that's uh, an okay joke <laughs> <laughs> one of my friends on the uh, cross-country ski team I was on in high school um, called me breakfast. Always Elizabeth, just for like that. So your cups will have Elizabeth. Yeah, cups will have Elizabeth. Again, with like the whole like choosing a new name process, um, Starbucks was always kind of like the, the trial grounds for that. <laughs> so <laughs> test it out. Yeah, I tested out so many different names at Starbucks. Like get a coffee order, I'm going to try out Avery today, or I'm going to try out Allison today, or I'm going to try out Elaine, or um, what other names was I considering? Maybe that was all that I just dropped right there. I'm sure there were other names I was considering, but like trying each name like multiple times, like could I see myself as this person? Could I see myself as this person? But the similarity there is interesting that like we both use different names and like our given names in terms of like I guess like safety or just ease. I think that similarity is like really neat. Desire for ease and safety definitely comes from like I don't know just like so many transphobic ideas are like the standard. I don't know, I always just feel like I'm like stepping on their toes if I like say something, but that's definitely like internalized shit from like, um, I mean, that's just like internalized transphobia on my own part, thinking that like, like having like such an ingrained belief that like something as simple as like respecting pronouns is like a lot for me to ask from someone, which it's not like, it's like a pretty basic like bar of respecting someone is to like refer to them how they want to be called.